Truck drivers move more than 70% of goods in America from food to furniture. An aging workforce is one of the reasons this industry is facing a shortage of drivers. WEAU's Maria Blau shares what's being done to try and get more people behind the wheel of a big rig. Judy, according to the American Trucking Associations, in 2018, the truck driving industry was short some 60,000 drivers. Truckers not only get a finished product to a store or market, they also bring raw materials to fields, factories, and construction sites. One way the industry hopes to find more drivers is by getting more women into trucking. While almost half of the workforce in the U.S. is female, they make up only 7% of truck drivers. The proposed Women in Trucking Workforce Act is trying to change this. It will create a Women of Trucking Advisory Board meant to address any barriers preventing more women from becoming truck drivers. Senator Tammy Baldwin is one of the bill's sponsors. She says it helps both the truck driving industry and opens a new door for women. These are opportunities for folks. Uh, and so we really want to uh, change that, not only to address the workforce shortage, but to create um, a, a full range of opportunities for women. Baldwin says in a state like Wisconsin that has strong manufacturing and agricultural sectors, transportation is crucial. Across the country, the truck driving industry generated more than $791 billion in revenue from transporting goods in 2019.